Welcome to a lecture series on real analysis. In the previous lectures, we have seen the closure of a set and a result related to a closure of a set. In this lecture, we are going to see interior of a set. Let us start it. Uh, let us take a subset of a metric space X. The interior of this set E is denoted by E, uh, e interior or E naught. This is going to call it the interior points of the set E. This is the collection of interior points of E. Here, let us recall what do we mean by an interior point. Suppose we have a metric space and we have a set E. A point is said to be an interior point of E. If there exists some neighborhood, we don't need all the neighborhoods. If there exists at least one neighborhood, which is completely contained in this E, we can say this point, the point, let us name that point as P, this point P is said to be an interior point of E, right? So, a set may have any number of interior points, the collection of all those interior points are called as interior of a set E, right? Uh, now, let us see some examples of interior of a set uh, let us start with the classical example that is on real line under the standard euclidean metric and uh, let me take my set to be the half open interval right you just try to figure it uh, this is the given set right okay suppose i take a point here i have to find out some neighborhood which is completely contained in this set the neighborhoods of this is going to be what it is going to be some open interval are also called as segment right i can identify some segment here so this point is an interior point so wherever i take a point i am able to identify at least a small neighborhood which is completely contained in this interval suppose i take a point very next to this a in that case also I can find the distance and I am able to identify a very smallest neighborhood which is completely contained in this. No issues. Now let me take this point B. A is not included so I don't need to talk about A. Let me talk about the point B which is included in this set. If I try to find out the very smallest possible neighborhood that will also contain at least one point after B. Which means what? The point B cannot be an interior point. Here, the interior of this set is going to be the open interval or segment AB. Right? Next, let us take the example in R2. Uh, let me call it E to be the mm, collection of points like a, okay. Let me write that in this form. Collection of points such that B of R I may we should I write D let me write it in this form absolute of x1 x2 less than or equals R what do we mean by this absolute of x1 x2 I may consider this as absolute of x1 x2 minus 0 comma 0 right so when I try to plot this I have a center as origin and radius as some r so i am going to get a circle of this kind this is the set here the boundary is also included in my set okay. in this set here also i am considering this set under standard euclidean metric therefore the neighborhoods are going to be of circle type whatever may be the point that i choose inside this I can find out a small circle which is completely contained in this big circle. Therefore, all the points inside the circle are interior points. What about the points on the boundary? Okay. Even if I choose a very small circle, I get some points outside the circle. Therefore, the points on the boundary cannot be interior points. Therefore, this is going to be what? This is the collection of points in R2 satisfying the condition that x1 of x2 less than strictly less than R right 
So these are few examples of interior of a set. Now let us see a theorem based on the interior of a set. And let us compare the results with the theorem that we have seen on the closure of a set. Okay. Let me state the theorem first. Uh, let E be a subset of a metric space. Then, first thing, interior of E is always open. A set is open if and only if the set and the interior of a set are equal. Third thing, uh, G is contained in E, suppose. If G is contained in E for every open set G in X, if for every open set G in X, if this is satisfying this condition, then this G is contained in the interior of E. Okay. Let us prove this and let us make the comparison at the last. First, let me take a point in the interior of E. I have to prove this is open. Which means, what should I say? I should say, uh, if I take a point in E, this is an interior point of this E naught as well. That is what I have to prove. Okay, if this is the case, then what am I going to get? Then, there exists a neighborhood n of x with a radius r positive such that this is contained in E. So this is going to happen, right? So by definition, what is it? n r of x is the collection of points in the metric space such that it is satisfying this condition. Now if I combine these two things, what will I get? I will get uh, this is going to have the points in E satisfying this condition. Right? So, because this is completely contained in this, therefore instead of saying all these points are taken from X, I may also say these points are taken from E. Right? Actually, uh, let me call it only this set. Okay. Now, in order to say this is open, what should I say? I should say all the points of this set are interior points of this set. Okay. In this collection, in this neighborhood collection, okay, I am going to pick a particular point Y and I am going to do some calculations here. Okay. For which first let me choose a positive quantity such that d of x comma y is r minus h. Here what I have done, I have chosen a particular y from this set. Right? Now after this consider a neighborhood of y with radius H. Okay, this is what I am going to do. Then, what will be the case? Neighborhood of Y with radius H is going to collect the points in the metric space such that this is satisfying this condition. Okay. Just like we have uh, done in proving neighborhoods are open, the same idea we are applying here also. Right? Now, uh, what is d of x comma y set? Using the triangle inequality, I may write d of x comma y plus d of y comma y set. This triangle inequality is applicable for any points in the metric space. Here, I am just making this, uh, making use of this triangle inequality for the chosen point y. So, this part is r minus x. This is equals uh, this equals r minus h and this is less than h. Therefore, we will have less than this thing. Okay. And 
this is going to tell you what this is going to tell you the points in this collection are satisfying this condition therefore this will also be a member of this set which means this entire nh of y is going to be a subset of nr of x right this is what we have done okay so this is contained in where this is contained in e if this is the case as of now forget about your x what happens this y for this y also you have some neighborhood which is completely contained in e therefore this y is also an interior point of e right so this tells you this y is also an interior point of e okay now come back here what we have done we have chosen a point in this neighborhood and we proved this is also a remember this is also an interior point of e now as of now we have chosen a particular point and the particular point was chosen an as an arbitrary choice which means we can choose any point here and we can uh, do the same arguments and finally we can prove all those points are members of this thing this tells you what this tells you your n r of x is contained in e not right because whatever may be the point that you choose in this set this is a member of e not therefore your entire set is a member of e not what we what we have initiated we have initiated that x is a member of e not and we finally proved for this x some neighborhood is present in e not this tells you your e not is open right now let us go to prove the second part of this theorem in the second okay uh if we have to prove this uh, we may do it in two ways let us go with the simplest way by definition of open set e is open if all the points all the points of e are interior points if this is the definition means this is your set e and this is your interior points of e these two has to be same that is said in the definition itself so the second part of the proof follows directly from the definition okay if this is the case then only we can say the set is open right let us come to the third thing here what is the scenario here the scenario is we have a metric space x and we have a set e okay and we can choose any open sets in x such that it is of this type so my g is in e okay g is an open set this tells you your g and g integer must be same using the second part of this theorem okay now let me do something here that tells you what is going to happen in the theorem if i choose some point in g okay let me say the point as x since g is open this is an interior point of g right what do we mean by an interior point there exists some neighborhood which is contained in completely contained in g forget about g now you may treat this x as a point of e right now when treating this x as a point of e you have some neighborhood of x which is completely contained in e therefore this is also a this is also an interior point of e okay so what the point that i am trying to convey here is if something is an interior point of e that is also an interior point of e whether the converse is true or not suppose i take a point here okay i can find out some neighborhood which is completely contained in e 
Okay. Ah, I may take. Uh, let me take a point here. Okay. I can find out some neighborhood which is completely contained in E, but I am not sure whether the in uh, the neighborhood is co contained in G or not. Right. So your G interior is the subset of E interior. Because all those interior points of G are interior points of E. Since G is open, these two are same. So what you are getting? You are getting G and uh, sorry, you are getting G and G interior are same, which is contained in E interior. This is what we needed to prove, right? So we have proved. Okay. Now let us make the comparisons. When this was the case, while proving the closure results, the first thing that we proved was E closure is closed. Right? So the closure of a set is always a closed set and the interior of a set is always an open set. Next is, the set is closed if and only if the set and the closure of a set are same. Here what we have proved, a set is open if and only if a set and the interior of a set are same. Third thing, that we had the reverse part, right? So, if E is contained in F for every closed set F in X, then we have what? E closure is contained in F. This is what we prove that. Here we have, okay, with this we have remarked something that, what was it? E closure is the smallest superset of E which is closed. So that means E closure is the smallest closed superset of E. Whatever may be the closed sets for which E is a subset, uh, that will be bigger than e bar or equals e bar. e bar is the smallest thing. Similarly, we can remark something here too. What is it? You just look at the third part. If g is contained in e, there we have taken e as a subset, here we have taken e as the superset. So, we are going to talk about the subsets of e here. There we have spoken about the supersets of e. Right? So, Whatever may be the closed set that we choose, that is going, going to be contained in E interior. You may have this G and E interior are equal as well. Right? So, the point that we are trying to remark here is uh, E interior is the largest open set which is contained in E or uh, these two results the here as well as here this can be put in another way as well right if you collect the open subsets of E okay a subset which is also being open okay if we are collecting the open subsets of E and make the union of all possible open subsets, you will have your E interior. Right? And here, what is going to be the case? You collect all possible super closed sets of E and make the intersection of all those closed sets. You will get your E closure. Right? So, this is the uh, agenda for this lecture. We have come to the end of this lecture and if you have any queries you can post it in the comment section that will be clarified within 24 hours of time. Thank you for watching.